in this video we will be talking about uh, uh, we will be talking about RC phase shift oscillator. And to start with, uh, we would like to understand the concept and, and we, we will be discussing in this video uh, uh, the, the phase shift oscillator, the RC phase shift oscillator uh, using uh, uh, a transistor in, in common emitter mode. So to start with, uh, if if we start with with, a, with an NPN transistor like this, so let's have a transistor, and this is the resistance. We'll have a common cell here. Let us have. And emitter resistance uh, it will have a, a bypass capacitor here to to absorb some of the, the, the AC components and uh, since it's a common emitter mode transistor uh, the input will be supplied through through the base so this is base okay let's have a voltage divider here okay so so this is our amplifier uh, this is our amplifier and say uh, let's assume that this is R1, this is R2, and this is emitter resistance RE, and this is my f my amplifier, and with this amplifier, uh, I have I have three RC coupled oscillators and then I have another okay. and then we will have output and and we will have input from this side. So uh, we have a capacitor, we have a resistance, we have a capacitor, we have a resistance, we have a capacitor, and we have a resistance. Now, uh, what would I like to do here uh, at the very first moment is to bifurcate uh, the two uh, the two elements. Uh, what we have basically we have we have an amplifier and it has a gain equal to capital A and then this output of this amplifier is subjected uh, to feedback circuit so this is feedback circuit and if the the feedback we have obtained here is in same phase with the initial signal uh, uh, or has a phase shift of 360 degree then we call the feedback that we have given back to the amplifier as as the positive feedback so that's the concept so that's the point so uh, if if I have to correlate this, uh, 
uh, I will say that this part of this circuit, uh, this part, uh, it it represents uh, uh, the amplifier, and the rest of this uh, this circuit, uh, which which probably consists of this part. This is our feed back circuit. Now, uh, to our basic understanding, uh, if we go to the basic uh, physics that's involved uh, in case of uh, uh, CR or RC uh, oscillator, uh, we we have we have a relation to to calculate the the phase uh, because there is always uh, a correlation between the phase uh, of the signal uh, whether we have uh, the combination of RC, uh, RL, uh, CL. So in this case we are making use of RC. So if we rightly go back uh, we have uh, for, for RC for RC we have phase uh, uh, shift equal to uh, tangent inverse of xc uh, by xc by r. Now, what is this uh, xc? This is capacitive reactance. And this xc is equal to uh, it's equal to 1 by C omega. <clears throat> so if, if I make use of this uh, in, in my equation, phi is tangent inverse of 1 by uh, C omega RC. Now, we can see here that uh, that ideally, uh, if, if, we, if I ideally talk about this equation, uh, if I have r equal to 0, uh, then phi will certainly be equal to 90 degree. Uh, but the problem is that, 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 that mathematically uh, we have a situation here where, where, where we keep r equal to 0 and we will have phi uh, the maximum value of phi equal to 90 degree. But practically, uh, ideally, uh, that's not possible. That's not possible to have uh, to have an uh, RC circuit where, where, where I can have resistance equal to zero. So, uh, so in order to overcome this kind of thing, because what we want uh, uh, in our circuit is that, that this part of uh, uh, this RC uh, uh, phase shift oscillator, uh, it should give me an amplified signal and at the same time the, s the output of this signal uh, is out of phase because here I am using uh, a transistor in, in common emitter configuration. When a transistor is in common emitter configuration, uh, it certainly does have uh, the output signal out of phase uh, with respect to the the original signal so there will be a phase shift of 180 degree by virtue of this uh, this transistor in common emitter mode and 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 to achieve since uh, i have to go for the positive feedback i want to have sustained oscillations in my circuit so in order to have that uh, the feedback circuit should be in a position to uh, to 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 develop a further phase shift of 180 degree only then the signal will be out of phase with respect to its original uh, original uh, structure or original original direction so what what is what is tried to be achieved in this circuit is that we have three RC uh, coupled oscillators and, and it, it is designed in such a way that in every RC we have a phase shift of 
60 degree 60 60 so uh, when the whole process completes the the signal that's obtained back to the input uh, is is completely out of phase that means uh, we are we, we are actually looking for a positive feedback uh, where the, the input is subjected uh, with the signal whose phase is shifted either by zero degree or 360 degrees and and to move on further in this case uh, I mean uh, we can have uh, we can have H parameter equivalent of this circuit and and dissolving that circuit into into a simplistic circuit we can reach to uh, to have some expressions like uh, to calculate the frequency uh, of oscillation that can be produced uh, by this oscillator so if we go back uh, to 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 that if, if we translate this circuit uh, into h parameter circuit we uh, we can we can make it like this so this is my voltage generator here uh, this is uh, since my transistor is in common emitter mode so this is HIE and here I will have current generator and then I will have admittance so this is one upon HOE and this is IB this is HRE this is HFE and and then we can have we can have okay we can have uh, the, the three coupled oscillators one two and and three okay so and then we can have an output which can be given back uh, uh, back uh, to the to the base of the transistor so so this will be uh, the uh, this is c this is r this is c this is r this is c and this is r and and when we evaluate this circuit uh, the h parameter circuit it's an equivalent circuit of, of what uh, I have already shown you. Uh, uh, they, uh, this 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 circuit is boiled down into uh, into three loops, and and we have we apply uh, KVL in all these loops, and uh, we we further go on simplifying uh, algebraically all these equations, uh, and and finally we we come up uh, with with an expression for uh, for the frequency. Uh, of oscillation and that frequency comes out to be uh, 1 upon 2 pi r c under root of 10 so we can change the frequency of oscillation by changing the value of of r and c Using same analysis, uh, we can obtain uh, for for sustained for sustained uh, oscill oscillations for sustained oscillations. We are able to calculate HFE, and this HFE comes out to be fifty six.